Hello everyone, it is 12.30 p.m. here in uh, Akron, Ohio, well, just outside of Akron, Ohio. I found uh, a very nice park. Uh, let me pan around and show it to you. And as you can see, not a whole lot of people here right now. I don't know what this is gonna be like uh, tomorrow morning. But I talked to the park ranger and he said he didn't know what to expect tomorrow. Uh, they're just not really prepared. Uh, I don't see the hotel where I'm at uh, filling up, not just yet. I don't see a whole lot of traffic uh, either, but that could change, right? So I'm out here this morning uh, doing some last minute uh, tweaking and checking my settings, getting some practice sessions in the sun. I know exactly where the sun will be in the uh, south, somewhat in the southeast uh, tomorrow. So. Uh, I spoke with the uh, park ranger, and he said that um, this park opens at uh, 6 a.m., so I think what I will do, I will come out here right when it opens, and I'm gonna park right over there and uh, stake my claim, this spot right here. And uh, do some last minute checking, and just, uh, hang out in the Jeep until uh, about an hour before the eclipse begins um, and then go from there. So I'll be out here really early and I have my homemade filter affixed to this here and I even created a little dust cover that I can put up there. So during the partial uh, eclipse this will be like that and uh, during totality this entire cover will come off it'll slide right off and when we are coming out of totality I'll just slide this back on like that and uh, continue my video cut out there for a moment so uh, I'm ready and I have all my settings input it into the camera and the way I have it set up if you watch my previous video the way I have it set up here is that um, preset one will be set for the partial faces C1 C2 C3 and C4 and then once we go into totality then I'll flip this to preset two I don't need to go into the camera and start foaming around with the settings. And then when we come out of uh, totality and go back into the partial, then I'll flip this back to C1. And I know exactly when to take the uh, lens filter off and when to put it on, when to put my glasses on and when I can take them off. You can take your glasses off during totality. And if I want to capture Bailey beads, I have memory position three configured to capture uh, the Bailey beads so so far everything has worked out according to my plan with all the practice sessions and it's definitely worth it because uh, coming out here you need to know what you're doing uh, you, you need to know exactly when to um, cover your eyes and cover the eyes of your lens camera and uh, when you can take them off and again you can view the uh, totality with uh, no lens protection on your camera and no lens protection or no protection for your eyes and I will have another camera set up because everything that you see right here will be a different glow it will be like an aurora around this entire area and as you can see it's beautiful out here and I want to capture that as well Okay, so uh, you guys will hear from me tomorrow uh, afternoon when the eclipse uh, ends. I plan on staying an extra day here in Ohio. I'm not gonna fight the traffic uh, going back home. I'll let the traffic uh, subside before I get on the highway. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care.